Hi, welcome to our channel where the Grace Note Stitchers. I'm Corinne. I'm Colleen. And we have some exciting news for you. Yes. Before we tell you the exciting news, we're going to explain the oops beginning. Last week, we hit record and then prepped. Yeah. So we knew we had like 10 minutes to cut off. So I'm like, zzz, zzz, when I go to edit, I'm like, this is going through. And then I heard something <laughs> or saw something. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, here's our beginning. And then three mm -hmm. seconds later, it was. So... It takes so long to upload, which I don't think I've ever explained to you all. My husband figured out why sometimes it takes us a lot of time, and that's because we record in HD. Mm. So ours does take pretty long sometimes, and we're doing it wirelessly. So <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. Um, so I apologize for the oops beginning. Totally my fault. Mm -hmm. So you're ready for our big news? I'll warn you, if you have headphones, G give us a second. Yeah. Take it down for a second. Ready? Steve John! <laughs> so we, was that yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I woke up to a message on Facebook Messenger <laughs> from one of my very good friends saying, uh, check I checked your... my email this morning and I got an invoice. You better go check yours. Mm -hmm. And we got in. And you were, were you in bed yet? Or yes. she was getting ready for work. I'm like, Colleen, Colleen! Mm -hmm. She wasn't quite as thrilled as I thought she would be. I was waking up. She got more thrilled later. And then I go back because, like, I seriously was still in bed <laughs> during all of this. And I'm, like, looking through my phone. And I don't know why the messenger popped up before my texts because usually I look at texts first. Mm -hmm. I know, it's a strange word. <laughs> and I actually had gotten a text earlier what was like 8 10 in the morning well yeah mm -hmm. that's nighttime for me but anyway he had a, was like i got in a sick card and um i was like yes yes we all got in so i quick texted carla back and i'm like sam got in too right mm -hmm. colleen was because that's what yeah. colleen asked me she's like carla and sam right yeah. so that was like oh, yes so we are pretty excited if you can't tell so we wanted to tell you all that right away oh and if you all are going we are going weekend a so the next weekend is father's day and we obviously want to be with my husband, husband. Mm -hmm. so anyway that's really really exciting so any life updates no <laughs> <laughs> we're boring right now um sorry for my uneventful talking about cross stitch because i really don't have yeah. stuff to talk about she's like mom i don't have much to talk about but that's okay so i brought something in so i'd be a little bit more talkative than last week would you bring to are you going to show things off yes oh so she's going to do some magazine surfing so if she keeps interrupting me that's why oh no no, no, no. i already did it okay i lied she was <laughs> going to do some magazine surfing and anyway so Whoops, we're gonna go ahead right into our, oh no, I'm gonna do some talking first. Okay. So last time I was talking, you know, I talk about Hannah a lot because she is really uh, very, very close to us. Um, but we have other philosophy friends. So obviously Carla and Sam are some very good philosophy friends. Janet Jabber is another one that we talk a lot. Um, but I'd say Carla and Hannah are who I talk to almost every single day. Mm. We're also good friends with Sarah from Our Stitching, Stitching Kingdom. Kingdom. And she's going to do um, a round robin with us. Two round robins, actually. And Jessica Stitches of Sass. Um, yeah, we're waiting for her next lost tube. It's going to be a little we're while. Waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> but she's really a good friend. Mm -hmm. And another one is Crystal Rowe. So I have to tell you a little, this, a little story. So our Grace Notes Fabrics, we are now doing... Um, some zoom meetups and it's, it was a load of fun last week and everybody's like can we do it again next week so we are doing it on saturday night so all the code and information is in our facebook group grace notes fabrics and um crystal has belonged to the group mm -hmm. and i've watched her maybe since our third video because we didn't go back and binge a lot right I, I think i've been watching crystal since she has been on floss too so if you don't subscribe to crystal She's who I've been watching a lot. Or she's another person that I stay current with. She does a lot of Stitch With Me's, which I don't get to because of 
the wide variety of people and I'm always trying to stay current with people's videos. So I don't watch for Chris or Stitch With Me's, but I know a lot of people who do. Um, but yeah, I've watched Crystal basically since the beginning. I absolutely love her. I love everything that she stitches and um, she's been watching us and we comment on each other's videos. We just have commented for a while. Although when she subscribes to us, that was pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. It was pretty exciting because she's not in the under 1,000 subs club because she's over 1,000 viewers or subscribers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, my husband, when we were on Zoom, he's like, were you guys like, oh, it's you, it's you. <laughs> or I don't know. It was kind of funny. And I was like, no. we. He's like, did you recognize each other right away? I'm like, well, I yeah. did. And I'm pretty sure she did. And, and it was kind of weird but not weird because basically you're already friends. We've had so many conversations on FlossTube. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Crystal feels this way, but you know, it was just like picking up where you left off almost. And it was just talking, you know, and it wasn't, Hey, I watch you. Hey, I watch you. We right. know. And mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like visiting with a friend, like in person. Yeah. So anyway, it was a ton of fun and we can't wait to do it again. And something that we always neglect to say is thank you to all of the new people who are watching. <laughs> yes. And we're grateful to whoever referred you to us or if you just found us. We'd love to hear those kinds of stories. And thank you for putting up with us if you have been. If you've been with us all along, thank you for putting up with us. Yes, exactly. Um, but we want to say a special thank you to Crystal. Yeah, I was just talking about her. But we want to say a special thank you to Crystal Rowe because she gave us a really great shout out i gotta go watch it you do have to go watch it she just said such kind things and i thought that was just absolutely wonderful so i wanted to not just return the favor but say thank you because as always she is the sweetest person mm -hmm. um if you watch her videos you know that if you're not watching her videos you really should because uh, yeah she's she's just really mm -hmm. she's a really nice person and like i said i just watched i mean got to zoom with her so she really is that person yeah so. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really cool and i just wanted to be able to say thank you all right i'll talk about that later <laughs> okay let's get into whips you want to go ahead and do yours i guess i'll do it okay where is puppy by the so, way? so eh, i won't say it's the last time under my chair for a little bit because I finally realized I'm burned out on pants, and I don't know if I will get it done by the end of this new, this year. But I will show you the few gold, I'm gonna call them speckles, that I got in, and hopefully that's more, I think that's more that you saw last week. Yeah, so, this is more than you had. Right, I know I worked on it this week, but I'll leave it somewhere where like if I feel like, oh, it's good lighting and I'll just do some, but I, I, I was gonna have like people vote on what whip I should do, but I figured a whip that's small that I can take with you. Maybe take to work. Um, want to get finished so I can start another similar to its kind. Yeah. So, okay. All right. So, <clears throat> oh, I guess I should have said, do we have any finishes? Do you? No. <laughs> do we have any starts? Maybe. How many? I think I had three. Ooh. Pretty sure I had three. So before i get into them all i'm going to show you this awesome page Aww. that i made up and i appreciate all the comments and all the people trying to help me um i i needed that i totally did and then carla sent me her file on what she does she knew i was going to i i discussed it all with her um that i could tweak it for myself so mine is going to be double-sided next year, but I decided why do I need to print January to mm -hmm. June since it's already passed. So I just printed the second half, but because I wanted my total numbers, which I've been keeping record, um, I went ahead and put them all in under the July spot. So in each day, you'll see like here in October, I put 800 stitches. Well, Today, I'm going to get at least 800, so I'll put 800 here, but I can put my cumulative total here at 1600. And, you know, as with, oh, see, with then I can keep a running total. So, like, mm -hmm. what I did here was I put 3,000 
6,000, total at 9,000. And then it's easier if like I... one time, you, so it's less to add up pretty much. Yeah, you only add up one number into the new total. So that's what I was looking for, and I was looking for my husband to create a form that I could fill in. So Carla and I created my form. And then what I did after I printed 10 of these, <laughs> um, I actually added two, one or two more lines so that I can total it up at the end of every month too mm. um, and keep my running month total. Um, but that's okay that I didn't do that for this month. Um, for this one, my future ones will have it. So that's all right because I don't waste. So anyway, that is my new way of... I can print you some. Okay. <laughs> so I absolutely love that because before yesterday in Mulan, I guess I'll show her first. Before yesterday, I had 33,919 stitches just in Mulan. Hmm. That just blows my mind because I started her last year. So that's just this year. And then between yesterday and today, I already have 1,500 in her. So my goal is to get to 2,000 tonight, and then I can, you know, put in for my one game, the semi-sane, um, what is that called? Not concentration, but you guys are shouting at me, I'm sure. But anyway, it's the whip of the month that I focus, the focus challenge. <laughs> so what I got done, look, 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 I'll show it to you in a second. This is solid, all the way down, not one stitch is missing. Yay. So I worked all the way over here. So I decided instead of going on the diagonal to finish, I am going to finish out with oh, columns. What's this? This game. Such a brat. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of going in columns to finish since like up here there's one missing stitch. Mm -hmm. But I think it's black. So I'll be able to go up since I'm working on black right now. I'll be able to go up and quick get it. Um, but... I am really it's so pleased. Nice. Thank you. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. And I frogged, what, two different colors? Mm -hmm. One I found and one she found. Right. Oh, it looks so much better. It does. And you can't tell that it frogged. So 10 stitch to me, 125 count with two strands, definitely is, mm -hmm. is reasonable and doable. And I'm not regretting it in any way. And I filled in more here. I've done a lot more here. And that's just because these are colors that I'm working on. But I am trying to get it nice and solid. Oh my gosh. So she's almost done. I love it. And I'm 92%. I will say three, but I feel like it's two full coverages that I'm planning on starting. And they're not minis. Which ones? I know the one with Hannah. That's sun Summer Sunset. Honeymoon Sunset. Honeymoon Sunset. And the other one is My Red of the Okai. Oh yeah, your gift. I mean, that's a bunch of, like it looks like the same colors. I think there's like 70 colors or something, but I'm so excited for those. And But I feel like because my gigantic one, I hardly touch. <laughs> I, maybe it's because it's on the scroll runs. Probably. Yeah, just I feel Probably like it it's, it's always ready. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, yeah, I'm into this. So this is one of my um, unicorn trot pieces. So <laughs> last week I was complaining about running out of time. And I'm just gonna tell you how ditzy I can be. Because if you are a human, which I'm team human, you have to stitch in 400 stitch increments, which means you have to get 400 stitches into this. But that's two miles. I was counting them as one mile. So when I thought I, I needed 10 miles and I thought I was at eight last week, I was already at 16. I was so dumb. So mm. anyway, mm. I finished that up and I got all of this done. So to date, I'm at 3712, 3,712 stitches in this. Not bad. I put a little bit more into here just because I had it on my needle and... I didn't really want to put it away. So, yeah, I already have, I, I think I have eight, no, 50 stitches more. And I'll have my second, no, my fourth mile in for Unicorn Trot. I, oh, so I already have two in on Mulan also. So two in on that, two in on this. Oh, All right. so pretty. <laughs> so in here, 
All you need is Faith Trust and a little bit of pixie dust. I'm going to let this go so you can see. I finished up down in here. I sneeze. You can sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> um, I started in the word you. Uh, before October, I already had almost 2,000. It was 19... <laughs> oh, Bless sorry. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was 1909 stitches that I had in this. This is my daily 30. So I don't have to stitch on that today. And I really don't have to tomorrow, but I got ahead by last. So it depends on my goals for tomorrow. Like, I, I don't know what all my pay to do. You're interesting. Yeah, I was just okay, like, maybe I was sure. doing some looking through things. <laughs> I love these magazines, and I, I haven't done anything for them, so i got to do one. Wait, I thought I had three starts. You didn't show this? I know. That's two. Okay. So, my second start, or my, yeah, this was uh, whoa. the first What's start, the is my August Flip It. I've done one of these for each of my children's birth months, and I've done my husband's. You all have seen May, I think that was like a year ago. Is it like a sand, like a bucket? Yeah, a bucket of sand. Okay. Oh, you got a lot done. I did. I got 500 stitches. This was called for Wicca. Okay. So I had to get 500 stitches in it. I am probably just leaving this aside, though, until next year. Because I went ahead and put it in my album for No New Starts. Mm -hmm. Which is a good thing, because once I finish this, I can swap it out for my June Flip It. And I'll be able to do mine. And then they'll all be done. Sorry, I'm up here. Uh, so yeah, 500 stitches on that. And then <laughs> my sister, what day did I pick you up from work? Friday? What time? Yeah. Uh, no, Friday or Saturday you were right. closing. Sorry. My sister texted me and said she bought me the Lucky Nutcracker by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. That is the stitch along. But they're releasing every two weeks. I can't keep up with that. That's just not... Mm -hmm. I'm not good at that. So, um, it is a mystery stitch along, so there's not really a cover photo for that. But you can go to their website, and they do release what has been released, so they update the blurred picture. Um, so, she's, my sister's doing it, and she wanted me to do it along with her. So, I uh, wasn't decided, I was going to uh, dye my own fabric. But we haven't died yet because all of our fabric hasn't gotten here yet. So, um, uh, she's like, when are you going to start? I'm like, well, I'm picking up Colleen right now. Maybe I'll go home and start mm -hmm. it. So I did. I like stitching it too. No quarter stitches. And I'm doing this on 18 count um, coat of doves by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. And it's a nice soft aider to work with. So I'm enjoying it. I am doing call for colors. And it's not too dark. It's not too dark. And what I'm doing is just pulling from projects I have up there. Because I obviously did not kit this up since it was, hey, I'll go find a fabric and start. She's doing hers on white because that was right. what was called for. So that's my second new start of the week. And then another one of my favorites to work on. I worked Ooh. on this on Zoom. I can't wait to see like the, the rooms and stuff. Yeah, so I, yeah, the first room has been released, and I didn't stitch it because I was finishing up the frame, and I did get it finished. So now I have to decide on Zoom this coming week whether I'm just going to start filling in, mm -hmm. or if I'm, well, I still have a couple, two more, um, what they're called? Not steeples, but I had the name before. Points, just, I have no idea. But, um, towers, two more of those, hmm. and then... I can start the room. The bonus, or the first room, I believe, is the second one down. So this is Tale as Old as Time, Stitch Along by Nicole Story of Story Stitches, who also got on her Zoom, and that was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, but I had been asked. This is actually Beauty and the Beast. Um, some people have recognized the castle, and some are going, is that Beauty and the Beast? Yes, it's definitely Beauty and the Beast. She's very talented. Yes, Nicole's talented. Um, I guess that is it. Okay. For some reason, I thought I had three. Maybe I was going to start something else. Mm. I was. 
I was gonna start my pearl and then I didn't. Oh, because you gotta do this. Now, I'm, now I'm not really that crazy, I'm just kind of crazy. Okay. We have games. You want to talk about games? Yes. Okay. Can I? So I told you about how silly I was with um, Unicorn Trot. Um, but also, I did find out Daily 30 is cleaning house. That if you haven't been on and active in the past six months, you are sayonara. Unless you tell them that you want to stay and that you're going to start joining in on things. Um, but in the end of November, they're going to open back up. Oh, nice. So that's pretty cool. I don't really think I have any other news. I mean, like I said, a lot of the games are on hiatus for October. Not that they put a pause, but that they are doing uh, different events. And, I mean, they're fun. Um, Dynasty of Dragons. It... <laughs> So it started out as a group event, then they turned it into individual, and then some people wanted to stay as a group, their, meaning their dynasty. Mm. So because we already decided we were going to go individual and we were settled with it, we didn't decide, my dynasty, Serafina, decided to go ahead and go back into doing it individual and not go back into a group. Um, but one of my teammates, Fatima, love her. She and I are in a contest. Did I tell you this? I don't yeah. think I did. Huh. Last night, she was telling me how many of the locations she had done. And she asked me how many I had done. I think I did just two more than her. And she's like, can we race? I was like, okay. Because we'll get a lot more prizes for our dynasty. Um, but also, it'll keep us stitching. So every 200 stitches, you're at a new location and you're spinning the wheel. 100 for the location, 100 for the wheel spin. So, you know, and you don't have to wait for the spin, you can just keep going. So that is just keeping us going and motivated. So while it's not regular gameplay, it's kind of choose your, not even choose your adventure, it's just post every 200 and that's good for me. And with Mulan, I am getting, believe it or not, I almost did 400 stitches in an hour. Wow. So I'm posting in an hour 200 stitches, but I'm doing a lot of black and it's not a whole lot of counting. So I'm in a really good section with Mulan right now. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for games. Okay. Do you want to do this under plans or do you, that's the next one. Go ahead. Okay. So I've been asked about Margaret. So I'm just going to quick run through what Margaret sells just for those of you who are interested, she does Thread Gatherer, NPI Silk, Weeks Dye Works, Gentle Arts, and she does both the cotton and the wool. Classic Color Works, which is old crescent colors, and that's cotton floss and the bell swath. She does one, two, three, four, five different Glorianas. Vineyard, she does one, two, three different kinds of dinky dyes. And with Karen, she does the Water Lilies, Wildflowers Watercolors, Swall Crystal, Crystal. Snow and Impressions. So she definitely has a good variety. Uh, but what's on sale for October and what I will be stocking adding, up and stocking. adding to my list is uh, Silk Floss, the Dinky Dice, 325. Mm -hmm. Silk Pearls, also 325. Silk Pearl Ribbon is a dollar. Silk and Colors from Thread Gatherer is $5.50. Silk and Pearl also $5.50. From Crescent Colors, the Belle Swa is $4.25. Although this is might be what I'm going for, and this sounds crazy, but she's got Weeks, General Arts, and Crescent Colors. You can buy 100 skeins for $150. That's $1.50 a skein. So that's great. So, you, But you can mix and match is what she's saying. Uh-huh. Nice. So that actually might be what I go for instead of the dinky dyes this month. Was there anything I wanted? Where is it? Bell Swap for? No. And was it NPI silks? Yours was, I, I think yours is NPI. Yeah. Which she does sell. I don't know that she ever puts it on That's where I want to start. Where's that? But you can get it from her. Oh, nice. So we might have a nice little haul. I don't think I'm going to sit here and show you 150 skeins, though, if that's what I <laughs> ended up with. But that could really fill up my weeks. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I don't know where I'll put them. I don't know. Excuse me, it's very dry in here. Um, I guess we'll talk about fabrics for a moment. Planning to die soon. 
I'm um, hoping Sunday night we'll just, I think what we're going to do, and I greatly apologize to those of you who might be a little later than others. Um, so you don't have to wait to post in the group. I'm not going to say. Yeah, like no spoilers. Or... Yeah, because we do try to get everybody out at once. Um, so if you get yours and want to post, go right ahead. It's, it's a free group. I'm not trying to control. I'm not going to police the group. I, I love that you guys are excited and mm -hmm. go wild. <laughs> um, but anyway, that being said, all of our fabric scissors here aren't here. 14 count Ada, believe it or not back ordered so I'm messaging them and calling them like every other day have they shipped yet or do you have them in yet so um it's not that we're not getting it it's just coming later and um yeah so I'm hoping Sunday night that you guys will be able to get everything dyed and mm. we'll send out at the beginning of this coming week everybody who we have all of your fabrics for I got a message today. If you're a part of Rogue Stitching's uh, Fabric of the Month, they haven't gotten everybody's out because some of their fabrics are in port. Mm. So they don't even have them to send out. So it's really a sad situation right now. And we were even talking about that on Zoom the other night is everybody's not getting what they are, what they need. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. So it's very sad. Um, but we have a lot and we will be. Well, out. I, yeah, we definitely want um, to get what we can. I, I've been cutting and surging and I have piles and I'm ready to get rid of them. <laughs> that sounds so awful. Uh, but talking about that, um, Colleen did get her needle minder finished. So let's, I'm going to hold it up against this. I think it's yeah. the one beads. Like I still have to figure out how to do that. It's either too I'm close to or too far. Okay. So that is her beautiful breast cancer awareness. And again, 50% sales will be going to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And then we also got our needle minder. And again, same thing. I hope you can see that. Me. It's about one inch by one inch, which mm -hmm. is to me, I love that size. And then uh, Leanne's little floss string bling with, including with all of the different um, boss tags so anyway we have all of those done and ready and photographed i think that's it we have no hole oh wait you do just not stitchy hole right <laughs> she's just been shopping so oh, not really hole. crazy i may be wearing something i got today i don't know um can i show my stuff yeah okay absolutely uh, not that you've seen too many of my whips really recently, but I find that I really like to stitch animals. And for some reason, you know, with selling all this, uh, not me personally, the, the, my work, um, the fall decorations and stuff. I love the fall stuff mm -hmm. and I resist and I'm going to resist because I don't have anywhere to put the stuff. But like, I she love decorate the decorations my house. with my money. That's right. Um, but just going outside, I'm like, oh. No, I don't like it. So, like, it's not my favorite season, but I love the decoration stuff. But I would love to stitch the stuff. Like, hmm, how is it you say, like, I love the season inside my house, like, with the decorations. I would love any season with the decorations. Not summer too much because it's all beach stuff. Well, okay, beach stuff versus underwater stuff because I love nautical things. But look at this. Um, I want to start, like, right now I'm going to go into, like, I'm starting these. <laughs> So, so it's I think I've scratched. We're in Blands now, by the way. We are. <laughs> oh, we are. Um, that hedgehog is cute. I I knew she was going to go I for think, that hedgehog. I think hedgehogs for some reason. Although Leanne really wants you to do this one, the fox. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know, and, and these things aren't huge, but just I find like why do I like hedgehogs all of a sudden? Like that's like I guess you would say woodland animal. That's probably like my favorite. <laughs> But look at that! And I'm seeing, like, there's, like, an elephant-shaped one. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It might be, oh, it's, like, a polar bear face or something. Anyway, I just love it. I'm going to start that, too. Like, okay, so wait, I'm looking in, I don't know what issue it is. October 21. This is the cross. Is this different from the other one? Cross Stitcher. Um, yes. It's but it's, like. It's my magazine that I buy. Oh, okay. This we got this is fun. right, and I love it's the world of cross stitch. That's that's I love that. So I want to start 
Oh, I do want to start. So we this. pick those up so wait. when we can mm -hmm. for her. Um, Although, is this the new one? I actually bought you one just for you. You did? Yeah, is this the new this one, one I just bought? I'm just like, bought as in? Like two or three months ago. I don't know. I don't like I don't think it was. This was August 2020, so I'm going to say new. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Why? It's some of these, like, I'm like, ooh, the, the fabric's on. It's very really, it's close to one that we we do have, so we could just have some time. But it's all black work. That's pretty. I love that. That's really There's cool. a black work one I picked. And it's too. not huge. Yeah. Um, but the one I had, and I did I lose the page? I'm gonna say yes. Right here. Because <laughs> there's a companion piece. I love it. I forget what this is called. Way of the way. I think it's called Way of the Way. But look at that. That's so like I feel like that's gotta be experienced a little. Or take it easy. It says intermediate. Intermediate, yeah. So just oh. Mm. So, and the other one's like Gazing Asia or something. Okay, I think it's on here. Just tiny. So before I start, no need starts. She's going to start these with me, right? Yeah. So it's just really, really tiny. I just have too many new starts that so I've got to start them all now. So my travel yeah, my stuff? You might as well. Okay. So, because I told you about, like, I picked a new whip. I guess, is it in here? Excuse me. Okay. Okay. I didn't look at my progress so far, but I want to finish this in order to start one of these. I don't know which one. I mean, I do. You're going to start the peacock first. I know you will. Probably. Just because you will. Okay. So, yeah. To start the peacock. So, this one goes there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. To start the we peacock. All know she's going to go for the peacock. But I can't believe, like, going to StitchCon, I got my kitty done. So, are you going to throw that in your bag just so you don't lose it for now? I'll just keep them all together. I forgot the dog was oh. in here. Um, okay, so yeah, he's not headless, but he's hatless. I mean, <laughs> not headless, necklace. <laughs> but however you want to say it. So he's. Oh, I like my new He's got a scarf there. Oh. Yeah, I wonder who made that for you. Uh -huh. um, oh, public service announcement. If you use these that I've made for you, that are, um, they're actually dinky guys that I glaze like 10 <laughs> times. Not dinky dyes. I always call it that. Shrinky dinks. Shrinky dink. Okay. Um, scissors are not the best thing to be magnetizing to it. Oh. <laughs> See, because I keep a magnet up on top of my magnifier lamp. Mm -hmm. I keep a magnet up there and I put my scissors up there. Um, my scissors have scraped. Scratched. Yeah. Scraped and scratched and kind of ruined the finish on them. It's not ruined, but the finish is ruined. Just a little comment. It's in like almost like so. I know it's definitely two people who said this exactly. Where I'm like, I'm not trying to correct them, but I'm trying to like get them to like to agree of what they're looking. This I'm talking about work. Um, what they're looking for. They they're like, can you help me find hodgepodge? Because <laughs> so mod I don't know if mod podge. Mod podge. Yeah. Right. Because somebody today could you help me find mod podge? Hod podge. Mod podge. Right. So people got mixed up with that, but I was just like. Is this what you're looking for? Just to make sure. And I don't work. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Um, so I I know some of these are kids. So pretty. I you love got that at StitchCon, right? I got this at StitchCon. It was like my own little stitchy kindness. Like that unopened. It looks I think now I would use the weight or are you gonna die? Well, we could take that weight out and dye it. That's what I'm thinking. Because it's different in something. If it shrinks just a tad, that's totally fine with me. That's right. Um, be 14 times. But just something we could, I don't think anything like a pale pink because there's too much of that in there. But just on white, this looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, so pretty. I bet a nice light yellow would be pretty. Me who doesn't like yellow. I just like this. And I know, I can tell, but it's a glare on the picture or something. So where it oh, looks yeah. different colors, it's actually one color. But yeah, so, it's like, I just, mm, <laughs> I like it. It's the red, white, and blue. And I realized that I really like that nowadays. Um, there's another one by Shannon Christine. It's like a bejeweled elephant. I gotta get that pattern sometime. But I got this at Strawberry Stitchery. Strawberry, Strawberry Sampler. Sampler. And Lauren was talking about that today. Oh, so interesting. I probably am gonna have to find a fabric or request that we dye a color fabric this color or something. Yeah, it's because it cool. looks amazing. Um, I have 22 count that color. Okay. Okay. Um, but solid, just like solid the, 
the mock-up of it. Let's see what Shisa calls. It doesn't do it justice. Like when she's stitching up something of hers, it looks amazing. Count. Everyone does 14 count. Um, this is an iffy because it might be small. Although I just read, yep, it does have a border. I don't know where it's by. I didn't open it up, but oh, it's so pretty. And this one I have fabric for. So I know I've been planning to start it. This wasn't be my birthday start, but you have your. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Such a long... Everything ties back to Hannah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Um, but yes, it's called Newcastle BK. Did I tell you that we have a roommate now? For sure. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of. Looking forward to that. Yep, that'll be fun. And mm, uh, that's for Stitch Con, by the way. 40 count. I've never stitched on 40 count. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. But I just love it. It's pretty. This one I'm just going to do because people... But are you waiting till Paris is done? I get quicker. Oh, that's right. I'm not going to show you then. I think you may see it. But this one's a it's small kit. It's quicker. Whatever. Uh... I don't know. That's not for my first cross stitch. I think this is going to be an easy one. It's called yeah. My First Stitch. Oh, but look at that. It, I know, it's got like a little bow tied to it. Uh -huh. um, I think it's included. No, I think that's like floss. That they just took and tied. It is. You're yeah. right. That's very cool. Wow, that's actually... <laughs> um, I so I don't know if I just want to do it on white or something or make it look like something is in there or something. That would be cool. Or I could just stitch around it. Who knows? Uh, this one, because I think we dyed me a piece of, was it? No. Yeah. We did. Mm -hmm. We dyed a piece of fabric, so this is going to get started. Oh, you got a strawberry latte? Mm-hmm. Because I think that'll look pretty cool. I think it will. Because it will look amazing. I'm doing the yellow for that. Like, and I couldn't go with a just a coffee brown color or something. And this is just tan. Like, to me, I'm not a neutral person. No. We're <laughs> so... Not. I'll do it with a little bit of pink. Mm -hmm. And this one, I just don't... And seriously, it's like a watercolor painting, so I don't know what it looks like stitched. So... That's true. I don't know what color fabric. I, if this is... Because I don't want to give you guys a bunch of things like, oh, like, I, oh, I can't remember what you said about that, so I can't really give you advice. Or this, or this. So this is what I'm asking advice on. What color would go good with this? Like, Besides pale blue? No. I don't want to get pale blue. That's what it's Besides pale blue. Oh. <laughs> Because you guys know I am like absolutely crazy about blue, and I would stitch on blue just because. But I think that might also look good on Sarah. Ooh, with like a pale green, and I want some Sarah fabric, but with those darker green leaves, that, that would be amazing. Cool. Okay, let's write that down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I thought I had a time. See, Wait. I have thoughts, random thoughts that just pop up. So I have a tablet. That we just sit oh, near yeah. us That's all the what time it's called? now. I don't even know what this is called. Um, I keep a notebook, and as things come up that I feel like I need to say and floss to, it sits by my stitchy chair. And I may have three of these notebooks sitting around, just different ones. These are from Dollar Store. And then, um, yeah, then we keep that little tablet, tear off tablet, down here for when we have <laughs> important things that we want to remember. And like, oh, I, I, oh yeah, yeah, those kinds of things. Uh, so plans, I know for December, we're gonna do as many new starts as we can in December. We know it's gonna be a busy month, mm -hmm. um, but she may be getting extra hours because the yes. hobby stores tend to get really mm -hmm. crazy. I mean, people are making chocolate, and mm -hmm. like, they're always and running the heard? store. I would say there's lines out the doors because again, when these people are making jokes, I don't get it. But, like, like, I don't get it. I can't understand it sometimes. But they they but, have almost every register open during Christmas right? season. Right. And, and they'll probably schedule, like, everyone. Wait, did I say what they said? They said there's lines out the door or something? Yeah, that's what just, you said. It just doesn't exactly. Like, um, yeah, but it's usually lines like back to the back of the store almost. Right. And every register is open. My department. Yeah, all the way back to the beginning mm -hmm. of that department. Um, so, December. We are going to do a daily vlog for Christmas. Right? So you'll wait for me? Yeah. Okay. I'm up for it. Okay. So for Christmas, I am, what is Black Needle Society has their advent box. So it'll be for 25 days. Can I get a box? You can <laughs> if you can. There's a mystery one coming up soon. Okay. I'll do research. Um, that would be fun to do together. 
Uh, but anyway, um, so I'm be opening a gift today and we're going to talk about what we're doing and hopefully getting a new start. Probably not every day because we were going to try, but we know with our work schedule, mm -hmm. that would be really, really hard to plan a new start for every single day. Um, but we'd like to know from you, would you all like five and 10 minute videos every single day or like how we did mania right and, and just put a whole week it, worth it. in to one video we're good with either way um oh another thing is i think we're going to suspend our music and stitching because we really haven't had any i'm so sorry people <laughs> feedback like oh, the feedback right you know i've had a couple yeah. people like oh but not not mm -hmm. major comments though i don't know if anybody's enjoying it i mean if you really are we can um but yeah, I haven't heard anybody go. I really, really like and that. And I feel bad because you put all the work into it and hey, I worked on one thing this month and look, this much got done. Yeah. And that's the other thing is like the first month we had a lot of stuff. Right. And then Colleen's like, yeah, from was, this many like, projects hey, to this many then, projects. I was like, so it's like uh, all my projects and I feel weird. Yeah. Not, not that I wouldn't do it. I'd love to mm -hmm. because I did find out it really kept me organized on my phone. So that was actually very, very helpful. Um, and then some little bit of news is we have started our own Patreon. And it's Grace Note Stitchers because that's who we are. <laughs> you can find and, us. Oh, we also have Twitter because when Facebook went down, I started a Twitter. Really? And we're the Notes Stitchers <laughs> because Grace Notes was already taken. So we are the Notes Stitchers, which is what Twitter suggested. But so I haven't put anything on. Was taken or just that's too long. I don't know. Yeah, I was mad. I thought I'm just called Grace Stitchers. That'd be weird. No, it's that makes sense. So yeah. notes Stitchers is our Twitter name, and if we figure out how to use Twitter, maybe you'll figure it out okay. one day. Anyway, you can follow us on Twitter, and we'll post maybe. <laughs> if something says post to Twitter, that's when I'll do it. Okay. Because other than that, sorry, I'm itchy. Um, I don't know how to do that, but. From Patreon, I was able to post to Twitter. And that's why I was like, hey, I'll do this. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I had how many hours that I couldn't be on Facebook and posting my photos. That's really, I was just like, oh, I can't post my progress photos, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And the games were all really nice of like letting us slide. The daily, the ones that you're supposed to post at least one a day, they kind of all let us slide. So that was good. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we have Patreon. One of the things that I did put on Patreon is I have started, like, oh, let me talk about this one more minute here. These sheets that I took from Carla and um, became my own. My husband said, they look very professional. He thought I had them done somewhere. So, yay! Um, I was really happy about that because he, he really didn't think that I did those myself. Um, so I have come up with my own, now this is tiny because I shrunk it, but, um, I've come up with my own daily 30. No, that is my daily oh. 30. Um, my own way of tracking oh. and putting in the projects. Oh, that's so great. And so with any challenges that I'm doing, I have a different so, page for yeah, every challenge. You definitely see it instead of every time I have to, to visit the post. Correct. I have what I'm supposed to be working on. I have a box for starting, a box for ending. And what I did in my star photo is actually um, posted, I put my whip, not just that I started it or the date, because I don't care what date I started it. I mean, that's just me. Right. And then I just put a check mark that I put the end photo because again, I don't care about the date, but I have the due date, which is tomorrow, on this um, so that I can make sure I post. But then I also have the rules on the mm, bottom. Nice. So in our Patreon, I'm making these available for free. Mm. So anybody who's in any of our groups will be able to just download these and print them out as PDFs or save them and follow through whatever PDF they use. And I'm actually color coding. I printed that one in black and white for some reason, but um, I'm color coding by the type of group that it is and in my planner so I'll be sharing a lot of my planner secrets too mm. but in my planner I have them I'm separating them all by 
um, yeah, what is it called? Game? Group. Groups. Yeah, because you can't double dip in the same group. Mm -hmm. And then that way I can keep them like, okay, I did this one, so I can't do any more in this one. I'll go to this one. So anyway, that's just how my brain works. So that's one thing that we're doing on Patreon. Um, but I don't know what else people are looking for. I mean, we're going, I'm putting in some behind the scenes videos that I'm, I have to create them on YouTube and link them to Patreon. Um, but I would love to know what other content that you look for. Just curious. Just I'll have to think because yeah. it's new. It's definitely new. So I already made a few little videos and unfortunately Colleen won't be in every one of them because, you know, she's not always here anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, oh, you're here. Yeah. So tonight when she came home from work, I was just like, hey, let's film What it. time are we filming? Because I'm ready. And I went, today's Thursday. Yeah. I am uh, Any other plans? Oh. Start all the things. Yeah, start all the things. I, well, you're off Saturday. You can. Yes. yes. Well, Sunday. Oh, wait. You can you can do some while well, that's at work on Sunday. Am I planning to start things in December? I think I should just start them now you as much as I can. Start something on Saturday and start something on Sunday. Right, because... Maybe each day off do one. Yeah, we're, yeah probably, because working is... And then you can either take your new project or fans right. or whatever to work. Because, let me think, uh, with the ones I really need to or want to start in December, I want to make sure that I would be able to start those and not be like, well, I haven't started these yet. And I don't want to, because I want to have these things started before next year. Yes. Cause. So with um, Unicorn Trot, I already have my first to four miles. I'm about to get six miles. We need 12 this month. I'm going to put two more miles in with my life after coffee because that's a whip go project and it's unicorn trot. So that will hit my whip go goal, which was a thousand stitches. After this, I'll be at 1200 stitches. So whip go will be done. Yay! So that I'm going to do tomorrow. Just knock it out. So I'm going to work with Mulan mm -hmm. up until I get 2000 stitches. So if that happens by before bedtime tonight, then I'm going to go ahead to life after coffee, life begins after coffee. And then after I get my 400 stitches into that, I'm going to pull out heroes and heroines. And I think I'm going to work on that the rest of the weekend because that's when I get my big floor stand out. It's folded up. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in a Dubco, number one, watch my video. You can see how easy it is to use, but I fold it up and yep. stand it between the piano and, and the, the TV, TV stand. stand and it's out of the way like it's beautiful how nicely it just folds up and so how pretty. do some people say things like if they can't get them stored away or something they don't want it's like oh my, my eyesore thing yeah it's not an eyesore I don't it's think it's so pretty in the wood thing you chose uh cherry I think rosewood rosewood yeah it's so pretty but once I get that out, then I can keep it out and work on mm -hmm. um, Heroes and Heroines probably through Sunday. So I'll just do the rest of my miles. So I'll be at six, eight. I have to get at least two in there, 10. I'll get an extra two, which will be my 12. And that'll be done. But I really, really want to see some significant pro progress in that project mm -hmm. uh, because it's so big. I saw somebody else's today on yeah what yeah they have one of the people done mm. hey I you're to get there you're getting there i'm gonna i'm gonna encourage you more because that's impressive she she rolls her eyes every time i say i'm getting it out though i do more you would want more <laughs> but it's great that you're working on it and it's maybe the most loved right now i think it is although mulan i'm really yeah yeah i i am in mulan mode Oh, so I lied. I'll get my two miles in it. Set it aside. <laughs> I just remembered. I'll set it aside because I want to try to get the day finished on my nutcracker. Mm, and then right. Saturday evening, mm -hmm. I'm going to be working on Tales, Tales mm -hmm. of Sun. I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Sorry so I'm going to do it. some nutcracker. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. So plants changed. That's how quickly my brain changes. Guess what else came up? 
I didn't finish Cozy Maple Cafe. Maple Lane. Maple Lane. I got start that. Pumpkin Stitchery. So, yeah. There is that. I have some... I have some things to do. Yes, you do. <laughs> and it's hilarious that she gets it done while I'm gone, so I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what did I finish? Oh, does, Alice. Because she doesn't go around, guess what he's starting? No, I don't. You, you don't, because yeah. I'm not there. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Because the girls don't care. <laughs> I, uh, I messaged Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, look, I started something. And, and then it's the, yay! And you're like... <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's it for plants. We think. We think. Yeah. Dying starts. I have starts. A start. And starts. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Maybe it'll... Cause I, just... I want to say my stitchy bug is... I mean, it's been low. I think you guys probably can tell. But I think... This will starting, bring excitement Because back. when was the last thing I started something? Was it... If it was mania? Maybe it no. was. No. Because I feel like there was one I did start. I and you start something together? After April Quaker? Huh. I don't remember. I mean, wait. May, June. I know on your, on your birthday we started our ladies. My Katrina and yeah. Which, you know, you have Cozy Cafe to get caught up. I do. That's one I'll do at home. I want... Eh, I don't know if I can bring my one to work. Uh, mm -hmm. The doggy. But I feel like, because it's just... I want to get it done. What the dog? And it's beads, well, so I'll have to be careful with that. <laughs> Don't want to be like they're eating their sandwich and boop. Yeah, that's okay. So yeah, we're uh -huh. gonna do lots of stitching. Hopefully, I think that's it for plants. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! I see. I My daughter you. and I are daughters, and I are about to finish CSI Miami. We have two episodes left. Wow. One. One and or two like, episodes we're, left. We're saying like finishing. That's season ten. Man, I felt like I watched it with so, you guys, but now it's all over. Lauren wants to start Criminal Minds. Ooh. And I, she's like, should we request that from the library now? And I, I have recorded at least the first season, I oh, think, right. on DVDs. <laughs> I don't want to say bootleg DVDs, but I recorded them without commercials off of TV, mm -hmm. onto DVDs. So right. we'll at least get those. And then I think reruns are one, so I'm going to try to record some of those so we don't always have to be going to the library because that's getting really and one thing old. i find is you guys can watch them so quickly it's not like oh they're due back to the library but that does happen so yeah yeah so i think is there anything else not for me this is kind of a weird kind of video but let's just say yay for calling it stitchy bug that's gonna coming come back. back yes and uh, anything you guys can do to motivate her uh there's things that you guys have said about 30 minutes a day that really did help mm -hmm. and um she's just trying to at least put in a little bit spending some time with us while she's stitching mm -hmm. and yes, i did yep yep you have been so tonight what are you going to start i mean my dog it was 8 20 <laughs> but my dog oh wait do you want me to work on no can i start something why not that's like will that keep you up later yeah <laughs> Wait, I just feel like I needed permission or something. Well, I just gave it. So, okay. <laughs> since my word is law. No. <laughs> Probably glad you got to see that face because I think that was priceless. <laughs> okay. So we are going to say goodbye because I think Leanne, we have to tell Leanne time to start dinner. Spaghetti. Spaghetti because right. she's been hungry for it. Yep. All right. Happy, Happy stitching. stitching!